Welcome to the Home Fun Pies. <laughs> today we're going to plant peppers. Alright, so today we're going to be planting some peppers. We just have a few from our local nursery. And I actually have a few pepper plant starts waiting to get in the ground. And I've been putting off getting these into the ground until those ones are bigger. But they're going to take a long time. So I don't know what I've been waiting for. Honestly, I was just making an excuse. So I need to get these into the ground. Just get them in there so they can be watered by the soaker hoses. And I have less to come out here and water by hand every day. Everything else in here is um, tomatoes and some zucchini and some strawberries and some tomatillos which I haven't grown before but um, they're kind of interesting when you see them at the store and they're good like you know um, broiled in the oven and like added to salsa so we'll see how that goes. We planted our peppers in this row last year and I'm going to do it again this year. We really liked it because we planted a very long row of sunflowers and they gave these peppers a lot of like dappled shade, which if you look at peppers, their care says full sun and we're in zone 9B, we're in Southern California, we are like right on the edge of the desert and it's really hot in our summers and as much full sun as the, it says the peppers need, we find that they get really scorched and sunburned and the best What'd you find, girl? A bug. What kind of bug? Oh, the ladybug. Yellow. It's, it's yellow? Mm, kind of. I might keep it in there. Okay. For a little bit. Okay. We just found that when we left the peppers without any shade, they just got super scorched and they weren't really very um, good quality and so last year we planted them right under these well not right under there's probably like two and a half feet um, you'll see later in the season how crazy these sunflowers get and how much shade they really provide but they did the best they've ever done um, with a little bit of shade so we're gonna keep that going and do that again this year so we have roughly well not roughly we do we have five peppers and I'm just gonna like um, lightly mark out their spaces on here try to get them evenly spaced and then keep in mind that we're gonna have a few other um, kinds of peppers in within the next few weeks hopefully they'll all fit in this row right in the back I have some broccoli that went to seed and I just kept it there because the bees really like it they are like going crazy over the broccoli flowers so we just left them but I'm gonna have to pull them out soon when those other peppers are ready I'm going to be careful for our soaker hose because already twice this season I have uh, poked holes in it and much to my husband's dismay. So I'm going to try to be careful. We have these stakes in the row because our rowing season is really long for the peppers and as long as they're good we don't pull them and last year we did have some freezing temperatures at some point in the fall when we still had those peppers so um, my husband Brian he put these stakes in the row and then we used uh, shade tarps to like we just set them on kind of like like a tent and it uh, really just we like bungee wrapped it around the plants or whatever and it just helped the freeze not to settle on them. So those are still in. They can be taken out. Coming 
it out. You want to try? Here, I'm going to take it out and you can set it in the hole, okay? Okay. Okay, now you're going to be gentle, okay? It's a baby plant. See the roots? Okay, so I want you to hold the dirt like that. Can you hold the dirt nicely? Got it? Right here, this one. It's all right, it's all right, it should be fine. There we go, thank you. We're gonna pick that pokey weed out. Weeds are getting a little crazy. All right. This one is in our row. This is our Santa Fe Grande Hot Pepper. We're gonna keep our tag there, right? We're gonna leave it in? Yes, I know what pepper they are. Yep. They are. Yep, we're not gonna take them out, right? Nope. Okay. Um, and I don't feel the need to put any compost in the bottom of the hole or anything because uh, just earlier when we were, we were prepping for our spring garden, um, this is the row you saw me amend in that video. So it already has compost in it. I just don't feel the need to add any more. Uh, so yeah, really, we're gonna put another pepper there. We have more peppers. Mm. You filled in the hole? Where's the pepper gonna go? Where's the plant gonna go? We have another one. No, look at we have a new one. Hmm. So we gotta get this hole back open. Hmm. Okay, use our handy multi-tool here. Careful of the soaker hose. Can pull it out for it, Mom. Okay, this is our sweet banana pepper. Put that there. I will do it myself. You will do it yourself? Are you going to be careful? Yeah. Gentle? Sweet and loving? Okay, don't squeeze it. Just set it down nicely. Very good. And we're going to put the soil back in. little baby weeds around it. And some little baby tomato volunteers. That will happen. There we go, and there's our sweet banana pepper. Oh, do it myself. This guy has a stick, he's a little bit hurt. So I think I'm gonna help you with this one, okay? This is our Jalapeno, which I think might be a little too close to that one. Now, do not sit down. Hmm. I think I might want to scoot it over. So we're gonna carefully tip him over. I won't let him fall. Wow, he's got lots of roots in there. Okay. Set them in the hole nice. Whoa. I want to move up. Okay. Perfect. Let's scoot this one over a little bit too, since we scooted the other one.
All right, so we have one more thing to do before we're finished up planting these peppers, and that is put on our tomato cages. Tomato cages have definitely have their place in the garden. I just don't feel like it's with tomatoes. Um, we, we use like a trellising system for our tomatoes. We've tried tomato cages with our tomatoes and they are just so prolific and so crazy. They outgrow tomato cages super fast. But I noticed that um, the tomato cages were a really good idea for our pepper plants. And um, you know, they, pepper plants kind of get um, a little leggy and we have pretty high winds here during the year. And I was finding that I was gonna, I was going out and supporting them with stakes and I would still lose branches because you know, there's only so many stakes you can set up around the plant. And it wasn't until I was like, oh duh, tomato cages. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put those in now because they're much bigger pain to get into the ground once you're plant is a lot bigger. You don't want to snap any branches off trying to wrestle that thing into the dirt. So um, it may look like overkill right now, but i just rather do it now when they're smaller and not risk breaking any branches and losing any peppers. So that's what I'm going to do now. All right guys, well thanks for coming along with me to plant our peppers. I cannot wait to show you what they look like in the middle of the summer season. It's gonna be amazing. We'll have like a food forest here with those sunflowers growing. It'll, it just is my favorite thing ever. So I'm excited to show you guys. Wow, and we have a princess here with us today. What's your name, princess? Come here. What's your name? Uh, I'm a Stacy. Oh, wow. Well, I got these little worms for us to go feed the chickies. You guys want to go do that? Yeah! Okay. First, I have a drink of water. <laughs> yeah, I'll float right here. Hold your...